Hello, hello, and welcome back to Sim Airport, a game where we pretend to be an airport manager. So things are going fine. We are mainly focusing on our loans right now. So at 11, as soon as some of the fuel is bought, we will most likely settle another 50,000 to the bank. Because the banks like us. They love us. Look at this. It's just, just good. No, it's still good. See, this is good. The banks like us. They're saying, hey, I'll lower your interest rate. I'll make it lower. Just keep doing what you do. Keep being cool. Keep rocking. So we made a good profit on day 39. We are on day 40 today and we made a pretty substantial profit. 120,000 is a good profit. And we just bought ourselves 123,000 worth of fuel. So our profit is actually 92,955, whatever, whatever, yada, yada. So that being said, I think we will jump into this and we will pay three of these. So we just paid 75,000 towards our loan. This is towards the principal of the loan. The interest gets taken off no matter what every single day. So you can just keep paying this. You don't have to pay this back, but be reminded if you don't pay this back, the banks are going to be like, hey, didn't I actually give you money? So they are going to keep increasing their interest rate. If you don't pay this, this will keep going up. So it's more expensive for you to borrow from the bank. So this in turn keeps going up. So you kind of screw yourself in the end if that's what you're going to do. So it's always better for you to pay the principal back as soon as we can. Speaking of, our repayment history has gone up from 54% yesterday to 63%, which is good. Our debt to income ratio, actually debt to income ratio is going down, but the positivity of that is increasing, which is good. Our credit history is still shit because we borrowed money a long time back and we still haven't returned it in a timely manner. Although we are repaying regularly now, we haven't returned it in a timely manner. So yeah, that's why this is a little bit iffy, but our airport value is good. It's 33%, which is not, it's not good. It's not, it's bad, but it's not so bad. It's not so horrible. Speaking of horrible, one thing that's not horrible is the amazing service that we give at our airport. 24 flights have left with all of their passengers, all the luggage of the passengers going to the exact same destination that the passengers are going to. Something that a lot of airliners can learn from. Now, I don't know if the luggage going to a wrong location is because it's the airline's mistake or the airport's mistake because technically the baggage staff, I mean, it could be either ways because I know that in Dubai, the baggage staff at the main Emirates terminal are Emirates baggage staff. But for some of the other flights which come in and which leave, I don't think they have their baggage staff standing by. So the airport probably provides them with baggage staff or they lease their baggage staff from other airliners like Emirates. So if that's the case, it's not the airline's fault. It's the airport's fault. So in that regard, we're doing pretty well. And we're doing pretty well basically because of this genius. This brilliant little underground hub system that we set up where the bags seamlessly get ferried between the check-in desks and the hubs, the baggage carousels, the carousel hubs, whatever it is, whatever you call it. We are waiting for multi-lane access, which we have. So multi-lane access is available. What is, oh, there's, there's cars going on the railway line as well, is it? Is that what multi-lane is? The cars can go here and cars can go here. That's interesting. No, that's the train. The train's going there. So what the hell? 
did multi-lane access do for us? Changes your airport entrance and ex exit to be two-lane roads for higher throughput. Did it? Did it actually? Oh, yes. Yes, it did. So we could have another lane come. Okay, so we need to build the other lane over there. Which means we need to move some of these things. We need to move the fuel depot back. But that's the only thing we need to move back. The rest of it is fine, I guess. Should we? Should we move it? We have the cash to move it, so why shouldn't we? If we are going to move it, I'm going to do it at night. Or actually, I could do it now. Because at night is when the fuel delivery comes in, right? So let's go to fuel. Actually, let's get the road. Let's get the road and see how the road comes in. Uh, is it going to like connect it all over the place? Because that's annoying. I mean, this is not half as bad as I thought it would be. So let's get fuel. Fuel depot, fuel depot, right? We can have just one. So which means we have to wait for 11 and once the delivery is done, then we can shift it there. So that's just like three hours. So it's not that long meanwhile let's finish this i want to make this storage and then have a deliveries over here separately One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Right? And then we go to storage. We expand storage down here. Pickups are fine. I think I'm going to make the pickups and drop-offs a little bit different. So I'm going to say drop-offs are going to be only here. So these are going to be the drop-offs and we have no zone, none it's called over here none over here and expand this completely to pickups so that gives us more space for the pickups and the drop-offs can just get in here this way that's not a problem is it 11 it's more than 11 brilliant so let's go here let's dismantle you and then let's shift you back or let's shift you here. Let's try to do something like that. Fuel depot can be here. Although here is where I need it. And then let's have a road coming down from here this way. So it's connected to the road. this is adjacent to a road it is it is yeah see let's see if the pipes connect properly of course they do there's a little bit of pipe overshoot here but i think that should be fine right 
so we have two lane roads coming in i think this will help bypass the traffic so if there is a car or a van or something stuck here then the traffic can pass around it which is the point of this you know that's the point of having a two lane road so multiple drop off and pickups I can have up to three separate drop off and pickup zones. Okay. Okay. Light rail via operations control. So I can control all of that using this, which for the time being is fine. Is this my buses or is this like the buses? I don't know. I don't know if it's my specific buses or if it's buses which come into the place. But what we need is light rail. So maybe I should say rail. Yes, LRT platform. I can have up to three of these. Oh, we fancy. Invalid placement. Oh, that's a lot of invalid placement. insufficient funds right it's not invalid placement it's insufficient funds so this is where it has to be i guess right so i can put it here so it's right in front of the drop-offs but i don't have enough funds for it how much do i need, I need 109 oh my god that's eye watering that's eye watering my eyes are watering right now oh my god goodness gracious look at all of them people i wonder how much money we made yesterday profit and loss go to the previous day we lost 129 why did we lose that because of materials because we built the goddamn roads didn't we yeah taxes is a it's it's too small like i actually like that it's so small terminal fees 101 airline fees 33600 runway fees a tiny little sliver fuel we made 23000 which isn't a lot of money oh my price of fuel is crashing We are making a loss every time we sell this fuel. Actually, we are kind of like breaking even, but yeah, because we bought at 1.41, we are selling at 1.17. So 1.17, 20% on top of that is like 22 cents, I think. Yeah, a little more than 22 cents, let's say 23 cents. So 1.17 plus 23 is equal to 1.40. So I was losing one cent for every liter that we sold at that point of time. But then now it's increasing again, which you would think it's good, but it's not because we are nearing 11. And the more it increases, the more I have to pay to get fuel in which we don't want we don't want to pay more money we want to make more money so there could be a situation where tomorrow we make a loss a net loss on our fuel depends on how much we are buying the fuel at today 72 percent is our current reserves so we bought fuel price gone down to 1.34 but i still feel like we would have lost money on fuel yesterday day 41 fuel 23 wait day 42 is what i want i don't want day 41 day 42 fuel is 30 okay that's okay that's that's not so bad so this is our situation today we have 142 so i think we can pay back a hundred thousand something 
should be fine because we would have gotten our perfect bonus of 36,000. Ooh, fancy. Let's pay one more. Let's pay one more. We owe them 200,000. We owe the banks 200,000, which is good. I like it. Airport value is down because we are eating up the value because we, we gave them more money than we actually made. Our value is going down and we're using that value to settle the bank, essentially. So that's why that went down, but that's all right. That's fine. You can see that if we borrow 2.5 million, we will have to pay anywhere from five to 8%. So actually we can go up to 2 million, I guess at around 3%, which is just a little bit more than what we borrowed right now. So, hey, happy days. This is good. If things are going the same exact way, then the next three days, I think we can pay off all of our loans, which means we can do the investments and maximizing profits. So what's this pay off any loans? Pay off any loans or I've already taken that, haven't I? Must complete the previous tiers. Pay upfront 100,000. Reward is 225,000. Pay upfront 250,000. Estimated return is 150 to 500,000. So this is a risky return. So we might make a profit. We might make a loss on it. Okay. 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 Uh, we are getting close to this after this we must complete previous tiers earn 600 from advertising uh, that's done 2000 from here that's more than done so this should be done have net of at least 50,000 at the end of a full day yeah that's that's also done so this maximizing profits I think will be done pretty soon um, I don't know what this gives us and I, I guess it just gives us these bonuses which we get when we finish this 8,000, 10,000 something, I don't know. But over here, what this gives us, I think this angel invest, no, it doesn't. Wow. Look at this angel investor upfront payment is 750,000 estimated return is 2.5 million. Oh, all of this money. Rich people problems, man. So this is active, but it says we can't, uh, we haven't completed any of it because we still have outstanding loans, I guess. It's okay. That is all right. Wonder what the name of the city is. Wonder how big of a city it is. Maybe it's like a really huge city. Maybe it's like a state capital or something. And then this is like a satellite airport that nobody's got confidence. They're like, ah, yeah, they're going to run it to the ground. But we're not. We're doing a really good job. Or it could also be like a really, really teeny tiny little village airport that's catering to other villages or towns or cities nearby which case this is like this is possibly where it's going to peak i'm not joking i went to gujarat in india uh, and uh, landed at the capital gandhinagar which by the way the capital of gujarat is it's almost like Nepiro. Nepiro is the new capital of Myanmar. I mean, it's, it's new in, I don't know, in interstellar terms, I guess, because it's been around for a while, but there's nobody there. The roads are empty. Nobody goes there. You just have like some government buildings there. And then people are forced to go all the way from where they actually live and work and where business happens just to do government work. That's about it. So 
but it's more central it's more central to the country it's not up to the north like mandalay or it's not up to the south like uh you know like the other big city my god forgot the name that is shameful because that is the most important city there you have mandalay you have miyawadi at the border and you have this is going to kill me i need to google it now i need to google it immediately and my battery is dead on my phone myanmar yangon yangon i my goodness how did i how did i forget that we do so much business with them i shouldn't be forgetting the name of yangon so uh the gujarat is kind of like that because the capital gandhinagar is just like it's it's a properly laid out grid city it looks beautiful there's so much of lush greenery around but there aren't many buildings the capital is amdabad which is not very far away from or i mean not the finan- not the governmental capital but like the financial capital where most of the population stays is not very far away from the actual capital so when we landed in the capital it was empty that was my first small scale airport that i went to and it was funny because where i come from the bus stands are bigger than the airport that was here no joke like total square meters or total area of the airport is smaller than the bus stand which we use to connect with our neighboring states that's how tiny it was the plane landed and it like i don't even think it went into the taxi you know it's like he landed and then we all got down and we just walked in and yeah it's like there's your bags in the corner and they were all like stacked up there so we just had to go there we had to pick out our bags and that's it i was like oh so what do we do next i don't know there were like two people in security or something they were like through that door and you go out and it's the road it's the main road like uh, taxis waiting there and what not so a yeah, pretty small uh, that was my first experience with a truly tiny airport because even tiny airports in my state are pretty huge like madurai airport is pretty huge coimbatore is pretty huge never been to any of the other ones chennai is huge obviously because it's an international airport actually madurai is also international coimbatore is also international i think but then we went to punjab me and my wife my wife and i and that airport was it was the funnest airport i've ever been to there were farms around there was a dude plowing his field right next to the freaking runway like when we landed i could see his face that's like how close he was so uh, it was it was in the it was a it was a tiny little town called batinda which has a coal power plant so has a lot of people living there and a lot of successful businessmen punjab is filled with successful people so yeah it was it was very fun there were no taxis there were like three taxis at the airport and we were like can we get a taxi to go into the city and the guy says well somebody just took the taxi you need to wait for two more hours because the city is actually two hours from there so you need to go all the way there drop them off and then come back to get your next passengers <laughs> so fun it was fun fun times so i think we made a little bit more money last last day last night not last night but yesterday uh day 43 i guess we lost money why did we lose money government grants minus 50000 because we accepted something okay taxes so this this 50000 is a big beating that we got and of course we paid back the bank loan interest of 130 so we can basically match that 130 and lose 
50k i think so we're not going to do that we're going to probably pay off 100000 so that should be fine for today we're still making a profit let's see hopefully we can pay everything off tomorrow and in the meantime i'll put a quick cut in this video do like and subscribe if you like the content that i'm putting outside if you don't or if you want to share something with us with me uh do share it in the comments with the people that are following me or subscribe to me sure why not just put it down in the comments there's no issues uh i love reading your comments it encourages me and see you guys in a quick bit take care now bye bye then